Hey, what's happening guys? Checking out a lime lager from Christian Moore Lime Brewing here in Cincinnati. It is a Mexican style lime lager. And not really too much about this one out there. This one comes in at 5.5% ABV, 12 IBU. You can actually see some of the can there with some of the writing about it. But essentially it is a lager and designed, you know, pretty much to give you that lime flavor. Much like a bun lime, I presume. Or uh, if you go to like a Mexican restaurant, a lot of times the beers there, you'll have lime in it. So I'm thinking we'll get that kind of flavor. Let's go ahead and check it out, see what this one has to offer. You know, it is a fruit beer, so that's not always something I actually enjoy, but I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you because I want to experience all these different beer type uh, flavors. I'm not a big Corona drinker or something where you usually put lime into something outside of it maybe being like a rum and coke. I like that with lime. Um, so this should be a little interesting. You can see here. The beer itself. I'm getting a pretty good hiss off the glass. You can see the carbonation racing up to the uh, head that is dissipated very quickly. It was a white head that's gone now. Uh, it's a nice amber color to the beer. We do have a good amount of clarity as you can see through to the other side. Get a light behind it. Kind of just illuminates it a little bit more. You get a little more, more of a golden color there. And again, you're seeing really the stream and the bubbles taking place as far as the aroma. Well, you're definitely getting that lime coming out there, hits you in the nose nicely, a nice good tart uh, note to it. Not having to sniff really too hard to get it out of the glass. A little bit of kind of a sweetness there, but not really much else outside of that lime feel coming out as far as the taste. Well, it's like biting into a lime pretty much. You get a nice burst of that lime flavor in there. You do have some of that carbonation, not overly carbonated at all, but you can definitely feel the bubbles working. And it actually uh, gets into the mouth nicely with a nice refreshing feel. You do feel some of that taking place, it has a nice cleanness to it, or cleanliness, I should say. A little bit of a salty in there as well, salty flavor. Um, so it's almost like kind of like if you were doing tequila with the lime or a lemon and some salt, you have a kind of a salt on that back part of the area, which is actually nice for a lime type beer like this. You do have that little bit of a tart feel, but not like some of the sour type beers you have out there. It's not overly tart in any type of way, but you, you know, if you've ever been into a lime, you know it's gonna be tart in that regard. Body on it is pretty light. Do taste a little bit of the alcohol in there. Outside of that, it's just, it's kind of like a lager. So I mean, it, I mean, it is a lager, so it's kind of like just a light lager that you can sit back and enjoy. This wouldn't be a bad one to have as the weather breaks here to be sitting out somewhere, taking in some rays or doing some things outside. You could easily drink this. This wouldn't be a bad one, maybe like a lawnmower type beer on the back end. But it doesn't really do much outside of that. I mean, if you like those kind of things like Corona, or if you like a Bud Light and you were trying to think about a beer that might get you over to the craft side, this is kind of one that you can look at as a craft type beer that I think gives you a nice little run for the money versus those other ones as well. No real big aftertaste out of it. The duration of the flavor is pretty much low. Um, it does go away pretty quickly. And like many lagers, you drink them, i say a little bit faster because you want to have them when they're nice and cold, get a nice refreshing quality. This one, you could probably let warm a little bit more. But again, a lager, you want to get something nice, refreshing tone that you can really sit back and enjoy. And this can do that for you as well. You do get a little bit of that sting to the tip of the tongue. You do get a little bit of a sweeter type taste in the mouth from the flavor, but it's not bitter. Again, it's an easy drinking type beer. So this is the Moorline Lime Lager. I'm not sure how long this is available. I actually just picked this up on a whim at one of the spots I was at a few weeks ago. Uh, by the time I'm uploading this, is actually going to be a little bit later than that. But um, a decent enough beer to... Uh, Maybe check out if you like that kind of thing. Uh, would I go back and probably get this one again? Not really sure because lagers aren't my my regular thing to do. But on a hot day, I definitely excuse me wouldn't pass it up as the carbonation kicks in. But there you have it. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video, the More Lion Lime Lager. Look forward to catching you guys next time. As always, remember there's always time. Get your beer on and remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz. See you next time. Cheers.